Using hardware description languages in Tina Cloud Part 1. Creating macros from VHDL. Hardware description languages are powerful tools to describe and simulate complex electronic devices. In this tutorial video, we will show you how you can create a macro from a VHDL dot VHD code and use in Tina Cloud. You can create macros from Verilog, Verilog A, and Verilog AMS files in a similar way. You can create a macro from any .vhd, .v, .va, .vams file that contains an entity, interface to the outside world, with its architecture, description of the hardware. The meaning of the file extensions is as follows. Files with the .vhd extension are VHDL files. Files with the .v extension are Verilog files. Files with the .va extension are Verilog A files, and the files with the .vams extension are Verilog AMS files. The ports declared in the interface part will automatically appear in the macro symbol, shape. By default, the input ports of the interface will appear on the left side of the generated macro shape, and the output ports of the interface will appear on the right side. But by editing the generated macro, you can change this arrangement. For example, consider now the following VHDL interface. In this case, the AB ports will appear on the left side, and the SC ports will appear on the right side of the macro shape. Let's see how to make a macro from the following VHDL code, a half adder, with Tina Cloud. Note, the essential code of the half adder is two lines long only. Let's demonstrate the details. First, save the file under the name half adder test circuit. Note that the program automatically saves the changes into this file while we are editing. Click the Insert button with the green plus sign to invoke the Insert menu. Select Upload Macro. Let's name the macro as Half Adder VHDL. Switch into From File from Current Circuit. We assume that you already have an offline version of Tina on your computer, and we will select a file which we will turn into a VHDL macro from the original folder of the offline Tina but you can select a VHDL file anywhere on your computer. Click Browse. From the Tina Examples folder, select the VHDL folder, then open the half underscore adder underscore VHDL dot VHD file. Click Upload. The Edit Macro Pins window appears. Edit the macro input and output pin names as shown on the screen. Note that by moving the pin names to the top or to the bottom fields of the editor, you can create pins at the top or at the bottom of the macro box. Of course, you can also change the names, for example, A to INP A, B to INP B, and so on. Here is the macro with this pin orientation and naming. Now let's return to our original pin orientation and click OK. The following note appears, Macro Uploaded. Click OK. To insert the uploaded macro, click the Insert button and then select Insert Macro. From the User Macros window, select Half Adder VHDL, then click OK. The macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. To check its content, double-click the macro, then press the three dots button in the HDL code line. The VHDL code of the macro appears. Press OK to close the property window with the VHDL code. Press OK again to close the properties dialog. Let's test our macro in Tina Cloud's digital interactive mode and compare the results with the truth table of the half adder. To do this, place two high load digital switches from the switches toolbar, one for each of the AB inputs 
and two logic indicators. Draw the wires. Now press the dig button. Click the switches to change the input states. The logic levels of the node appear, red for high, blue for low. The logic indicators will also show the logic level of the outputs in a red square for high and empty square for low. The half adder circuit works as required. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel to youtube.com slash user slash tinadesignsuite.